Do you want to learn how to lay down vinyl graphics for airbrush? Well, I'm going to walk you through. Stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how I did this. We're laying down a transfer mask that we're going to be applying with a squeegee. This transfer mask will allow us to take our vinyl decals and apply them to the surface of our mask. So let's get this all squeegee down so we can start applying the decals. Okay, so we've got the placement now pretty much bang on where we're going to want to put this, this emblem. We want to try to get it down as flat as possible so we don't distort all of our edges. But because we're doing this on a round surface, you can't ever expect the vinyl is going to lay down perfectly flat. You're not going to ever get that true flat surface representation of your image because of that round curve. So once you get the bulk of this down, you will have to do just a little bit of tweaking to get everything to look good. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now very carefully, I'm using my blade to force the vinyl onto my transfer tape and off of the backing. If I rush this, I could cut through the, the backing, I could cut through my masking, or I could nick the helmet. So I want to make sure that I'm taking my time and I'm just releasing that vinyl one little bit at a time. I don't want to destroy my mask yet. I want to try to retain as much of that shape as possible. This is a very tedious process. You could speed it up if you may have not had a particular location in mind and you wanted to lay it down just in one shot. You could have gone ahead and you could have separated the two on the desk and then just placed it. But because I want to nail that particular area, I have to keep my masking on and, and keep this thing from shifting too much so I can keep my placement as true as I want it to be. So be patient. Be afraid to take your blade and just push it up against that that backing mask to make sure it's sticking. The nice part about this product is that it is a low tack mask, so I don't have to 
necessarily worry too much about having to pull it back off my surface. If you've prepped your surface properly, you won't get any back pulling off the paint if you do need to move or change something in your, in your vinyl overlay. Now very carefully, I am going to pop a small hole in there and lay this back down. I don't like the way that is coming off of there. But I want to retain that, so I'm just going to grab a second piece of tape. I'm just going to reinforce this just so I know that this thing's not moving. These will be coming off very shortly, but I do have to clear out this piece of backing in order to move back. I start where I did my there and I want to make sure that I'm not cutting the mask on my or helmet I should say. Now my finger is literally over the touching the tip of the knife as I push through. I know that if I keep my finger to the back of the blade, I'm not going to have as much of a chance of cutting myself. But, to be safe, I should have been wearing gloves. Now we're going to take this, flip it back around. Very gently going to apply the graphic as smoothly as we can to the surface. Now as you can see, because of that shape contour, I'm getting a bit of a bunch up right on the back end. I'm going to have to be very careful here and make sure that when I pull that off, I don't damage it. But I still want to retain general shape. So I will bunch that up a little bit and I will come back to that later once I pull the mask off. Now I can take these two and I can pull off these green pieces of tape. Perfect. I can pull this and that back off and now I can slowly do the same thing but in reverse I find this side usually comes up a little bit easier but I'll still use my blade to free it up in the event that it does get stuck much faster on the second side and then you want to pull that nice and taut and then we apply it down to the surface. Now I'm going to keep as much of the folding of the rings to the back side of the surface. You won't notice it as much. slightly in the middle for us to pull off and deal with shortly. Beautiful. I don't have to do too much with this. I, I can come over this with the squeegee just to make sure we've got good contact. It will make this a lot easier for when we've got to pull this off. laid this particular graphic for this client uh, a couple times now so it's gotten to be almost muscle memory on how to 
how to do this one. So now we're going to pull off our mask. Leaving our graphic perfectly on the surface. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay these down as nice as I can, continuing that fold that I just started before I started to weed off the mask. Now this is important that you use a very sharp blade. That is critical to any time you're working with this vinyl so that I can very gently cut that vinyl. Now I'm going to pull one side back, lay the other side down. Using my blade, I'm very gently going to guide this piece of vinyl back around and meet up all the lines. So as you can see, that line is perfectly down. Now I'm gonna pound through and I'm gonna get the rest of this all lined up nice and smooth and make sure it's perfect before we start adding on our next color. go. Now we'll get on to the rest of the graphics. Now one thing I do want to mention, when you've laid a bit, a bit of vinyl like this, sometimes to help the adhesion, I'll to actually grab my heat gun and I'll throw a little bit of heat on it just to help that stick down a little bit better. When I'm spraying on, I really don't want to have to deal with all the blow-ins and any issues of paint finding its way underneath any of this vinyl. Because it's low tack, it doesn't stick the greatest. So just a little bit of heat goes a long way. All right, it's 12.40 at night. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. We're making progress getting these graphics down. We've got a few more to lay down tomorrow and then we can start pounding in the white and add in all the background texture and all the details in behind the, uh, the black that we've laid down with this vinyl. If you like this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Out from the Art Den, I'm Primetime.